Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Vasquez here. If you want to SEO optimize your images and rank them higher on Google, this is the video that you want to check out. So let's dive right into it. Boom. So images, we all use them. We all love them. You know, an images is worth a thousand words, whatever you want to call it. Now, the truth is that Google is also an images search engine. So in order for you to actually capitalize on that opportunity and get actual traffic from images, you need to SEO optimize your images. Not only this will mean that you can write, rank higher on Google images, but also that that optimized image will actually um, contribute, if you would, to the uh, SEO or to the ranking of the overall page. What do I mean? When you have an SEO optimized image, Google will grab it as a relevant piece of content depending on the topic and the keyword that you want to rank for, okay? So that's another point on the checklist that you can actually use to rank your website higher on Google, okay guys? And that's exactly what I want to show you, but we need to go to the PC so that I can show you how to download, optimize and upload an image so that it makes the most SEO impact for you. So let's dive right into it. Let me show you real quick how to optimize an image for SEO. This is super, super simple. And as you can see, I have my good old friend Arnold Schwarzenegger get to the chopper meme over here. So what I want to do now is to choose um, an, an image that I want to use for my blog, for my website, whatever. So first off, make sure that you're searching. You go to search tool. You go to usage rights and then you can uh, you can use for, for example, label for non-commercial or non-commercial reuse with modification, etc. Okay, so you are 100% sure that you're using the, you're using content that you're allowed to use. Okay, make sure because uh, copyrights for the images can be a pain in the ass. So what I want you, what you want to do is to go to Google or, you know, get something like um, shuttered stock or $1 photo whatever you want to do, okay? So first off, what I need to do now is to get a JPEG image. This is step number one, okay? Let's find a JPEG image. This is a nice looking picture over here. Let's see, let's use this one. So now, what I want to do for this one, what I usually do is to strip the metadata from the picture. What do I mean with this? Is that if I right click and save image as, I'm going to save it as it is on Google. Now, the problem with that is that the image will have metadata attached to it. Okay. It will have a title. It will have a ton of things going on behind it. So what I want to do real quick is to make a print screen and you can use something like a uh, light shot from Chrome or, you know, uh, something like Snagit to make a print screen of this side of the screen. So I strip the metadata from the picture. And this is important whether you're using Shutterstock or whether you're using, you know, uh, Creative Commons, Google, uh, Google Images, etc. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on print screen. I'm going to select the image. Okay. And I'm going to save it. Let's say that I want to save it as uh, Arnold. Boom. Okay. So I have it there. I have it as Arnold. Uh, I selected a, uh, um, a part of the image, so I'm I'm kind of tinkering with the aspect ratio. Okay, I'm tinkering with the with the pixels and whatnot. So what I want to do now is to go to my picture here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to properties. Okay, let me show you. I don't think you can see this. So and this is why it's important to be at JPEG. Okay, so what I want to do is to right click it and go to properties. And here is where I can actually um, optimize the image. So I can go to details and I can add a title. So for example, Arnold, this should be the keyword. Okay, so let's put something like your keyword goes here. All right, the subject, this can, uh, this can be kind of a subtitle. So your secondary keyword goes here then you can add tags okay you can add tags like arnold chopper um i don't know seo etc okay so as you can see i can add tags and then i can add comments and on the comments what i usually do is once i have the entire post set up 
I just come and, and, and copy the post and paste it over here. Okay, so on comments, I would copy the entire post, the text of the post, of course, or the article and post it and paste it here. I do not have an article here, but as you can see, I can add keywords, uh, articles, I can add comments, I can add whatever I want to add here. Okay, so as you can see, I have my title, which would be my main keyword. My subject would be my secondary keyword or a bunch of keywords. You can also uh, do the same for the tags and the comments as well. So once you have that, we're going to click on apply. Boom. And there we have it. We have our SEO optimized image right here. What I could do is to, for example, change the name. And what I want to do is to put your keyword will be the name of the article. Okay. Boom. There we have it. So we have an SEO optimized image right here. Your keyword will be the name of the article. If I open, I click on properties. It's going to open up the details and I have my keyword, my secondary keyword, a bunch of tags, comments, etc. Okay. So this is how you SEO optimize an image. Then you can upload it and it will have your own computer's metadata and it will be ready to rock and roll. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe click like if you, and if you want, you can share it with someone that needs to see these kind of videos. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.